Hi, my name's Dan Edwards. Uh, I'm a field minister at Alexander Correctional. And uh, I'm in here with four other guys. There are five of us in our team, and we're a family. We love each other. We work together. We fight just like a family sometimes. Uh, we have problems with each other. But I'm going to tell you what, we all have a common goal, and that's to serve the inmates at Alexander. And we're all servants, and we all have a servant's heart. The fun fact about me is I love people. I'm a people person. Um, I try hard to get along with just about everybody. But sometimes, you know, I'm like Peter. I'm very impetuous. Sometimes I th say things I shouldn't say. The way he came up and he cut the servant's ear off with the, with the sword. I'm that way. I want to fight for the right. And sometimes, you know, you get in the wrong place at the wrong time doing that. So I have to be, my brothers keep me calm sometimes. They keep me calm down because I'll jump out quicker than, I, quicker than I should. Oh, food I like to eat? I'm like Francisco. I like Mexican food too. Uh, this past weekend at Kairos, we had taco salad. And man, that was delicious. Buffalo wings are one of my favorites too. Mr. Davidson came one day and brought us some buffalo wings. And you talk about good, they were delicious. Uh, you know, I like sports. I'm a sports fan. I played golf my whole life. Played football in high school, basketball in high school, ran track in high school, played baseball. You know, I was an athlete almost my whole life until my knees took me out. And uh, I tore an ACL uh, at 50 and got two knee replacements in the last six years. I'm a new man now. I tell you what, the state will help you once in a while. That's one thing the state did good for me. When I go door to door talking to these guys in their cells, I talk to them about their life, what's going on with them. You know, are you talking to your family? How are they doing? You know, you need that communication with your family. And if you're not talking with your family, why? Are y'all having problems? What's the problem? And I talk to them about working out. These guys are behind the door 22 and a half hours a day. They've got to work their body. I tell them, look, God made man to work. We can't work like we're supposed to, but we can work out. Get you a routine and work out. It's good for the mind, good for the body, good for the spirit. Uh, you know, I talk, pray with them, those that allow me to pray. Talk to the Muslim guys. I mean, I talk to all faiths. I go talk to them. I say, peace be with you, brother. You know, I, they got signs on their door now. Uh, you know, they're going through Ramadan. So I walk up and look in. I try not to offend them with Jesus because they believe Jesus is, was just a prophet, not, not the Savior like I do. So uh, I try to talk to them about their faith and about what's going on with them. And I, I tell them, you know, I, I don't know how you do it. I said, I admire you for your courage and your strength to go through Ramadan, to fast every day from you know, early in the morning till at night. That's tough. I couldn't do it. I, I don't have that much willpower. But, you know, it, what it does, it creates a bridge between me and them to where we can communicate. And uh, communication is very important. And we've, we were all taught to communicate at uh, Nash when we were there by Southeastern. You know, uh, Dr. Miles was instrumental in teaching us how to communicate. You know, she's going... She's going through a terrible struggle with cancer. She's on her deathbed right now. And she was such a great teacher and minister. Uh, if you have the chance to go to Nash and take this program, I invite you to do it because the professors there will minister to you. They'll love on you. You'll never experience anything like this in prison. Especially if you make it and then you come out and you can preach and talk and love on these men and make friends that you'd never make any other way. Like our family here, my brothers, all these men you're seeing, these are my brothers and I love them. Thank you so much.